I've had questions before, very dumb questions in my life. And especially recently, you know, becoming an adult, living the, the American dream, trying to live it anyway, trying to figure out how to freaking live it, taxes and... So I have a million questions almost every day. And I want you guys to know that it's okay to ask questions, but make sure before you ask them, ask your mom or dad or someone you trust before asking the internet. Before you even submit a question on the internet, make sure you look up and see if there is any anyone who had the same possibly dumb question as you do. <laughs> so I'm about to show you a few examples that I found super funny, super hilarious. It's so hilarious, in fact, I wheezed laughing. I Googled this. I Googled how many pennies are in a thousand dollars, and if I'm not mistaken, there was a really, really funny response. <laughs> how many, wait. <laughs> How many pennies is in a thousand dollars? This is not a mathematics question. It is barely even an arithmetic question. It is either a question demonstrating the OP. It is either a question demonstrating the original poster has no comprehension or is a QPP waste of time question being used to generate a high score of insane pointless questions. Reported. <laughs> what the fuck is a QPP? I don't even want to Google that, whatever. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. Oh my god, this is it! Donald! Donald! I miss you, Donald! It's this one, it's this one, it's this one! Question. How many pennies would you have to have in order to make up $10,000? Answer. Multiplication is the third most difficult mathematical operation behind division and any operation involving fractions. These types of operations are best left to the brain geniuses who can comprehend these levels of mathematical concepts. Fortunately, for those whom the nuances of these operations that teachers keep assigning in order to cause students to feel inferior, there exists the calculator. First, 100 pennies equals $1. This can be verified on the internet. To get this information, you should Google how many pennies equal a dollar. Next, you need to turn on your calculator. If this is difficult, then ask your mother to turn it on for you. Then press the buttons on the calculator in the following order, CLS, one zero zero times one zero 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 equals the display should now look like this <laughs> one million this number is stated as one million oh <laughs> fuck <laughs> god damn it <laughs> did you just did you just notice what just happened <laughs> if you did it good <laughs> thus one million pennies equals ten thousand dollars so this problem can be easily solved with a little help from the internet, your mother, and the calculator. This allows you to perform this complex operation and get the same answer as a brain genius. My only other recommendation would be for you to not try to walk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> oh my god! When I found that, I was genuinely wondering how many pennies it takes to equal $10,000. And then I found Donald, and then I had to meet Donald and learn the hard way. <laughs> if you guys have any dumb questions, leave them in the comments so we can all like laugh at, at each other and with each other. Please, that's such a good idea. Oh my God, I've been waiting to do, to do this video for such a long time. Right, I'm just gonna do a few of the stupid questions that I found on Quora. If I'm saying the name right, I don't know. I already I already pronounced it so many times like this, like this over my life. All right, so let's see. I handpicked a few of the most witty re replies on Quora you shouldn't miss reading. Number one, who is affected more by a breakup, the boy or the girl? They replied, the one who is still in love. I mean, obviously. How do I attract married women to have sex with me? Make sure you are the only one they are married to. <laughs> that is... <laughs> oh man, Mike, you hanging in there, buddy? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna calm down because I don't want to break my goddamn mic. What is a good piece of random advice? Their answer, never listen to a song right before an exam. It'll be stuck in your head while you write your answers. 
<laughs> you start writing lyrics as your answers. Plot twist, you have a pen. What's the difference between a secret admirer and a stalker? If good looking, it's a secret admirer. If ugly, it's a stalker. <laughs> True story. <laughs> no, poor man, poor dude, poor guy. Is it immoral if I date three girls simultaneously? Current male-female ratio in India is approximately 10, wait, a thousand, wait, what? That means every 1,000 male, 0.85 gets no women. If you alone have taken three of them, very bad man. Look at your brothers too. Leave some for us, homie. Basically is what he's saying, I think, right? What am I missing out in life if I don't have a girlfriend? Based on my experience, red with a girlfriend, green without a girlfriend. Happiness. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> shit! <laughs> it's just, it went up and it kind of stayed down for a long time and just kind of came up again. <laughs> oh my god. Mathematics, is 30 divisible by 2 and or 3? Yes. And using Quora to answer this is like killing a mosquito with a thermal nuclear intercontinental ballistic missile. <laughs> Please, is there anybody out there who have like used Quora to do their homework? Like you ask every question, like you are asking every question and you get an answer. Or is it just like the fact that it's like, it's like, it's like they answer you within like months or something. Cause I've seen that. Like they answered like y three years. It says three years ago, the question was asked three years ago and they replied like seven months ago. I'm like, I don't even need to know the answer anymore, homie. What is a sentence in which you are happy and sad at the same time? I won the silver medal. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> At a funeral, one of the teary-eyed people asked, Why? Why him? Of all people. <laughs> it's like wishing death on somebody. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually, that's actually kind of true. It's like, why him? I mean, it's kind of a complicated question if you ask me. <laughs> all right. I think that's all the questions that I'm gonna be doing today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like on the video. Is the camera not, has it not been on me this whole time? If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe. Mike, I hope you're hanging in there, homie. I love you. Subscribe, did I say that already? Okay, yeah. Leave a comment of your dumbest questions that you guys have encountered or had, or had but didn't ask because you were scared for your life. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. Let me know, let me know. All right, I'm gonna stop the mic. Hope you're okay, homie. Beep, tweebot.